Dresser Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw a trick-or-treating puppy dog to celebrate Halloween. So let's get started. To draw this cute puppy, let's first start by drawing its eyes. So I'm going to come right here and start with a big circle. From there, let's go right across say, about this wide and draw another circle. Now that we have your two circles in, let's make them draw so cute eyes with two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom and same thing over here. There. From there, let's go ahead and we're going to draw a big oval right here in between the eyes for the nose and mouth. So let's see here. Let's come, you know what, maybe it's easier. Let's start with the nose. Let's come about right here. I think it may be easier. Let's put in the nose first. It's about right here. Then let's go ahead and round off edge and connect in the center. And then I'm going to draw a big oval right here for a highlight and shade everything else in. There. Then from there, let's come straight down the center with a straight line, and then we're going to curve up on both sides for a big happy smile. So you just want this part to be a little bit deeper so that we can put in the basket. From there, now we can go ahead and surround all this with an oval. So let's say about right here, just going to lightly. Draw a big curve over and go all the way around. So that way we know that we have our nose and mouth in before we surround it with this oval. So that the size is a little bit more correct. Okay, there, now we've surrounded it. <laughs> now let's go ahead and let's see, we need to draw the face. So I'm gonna come to the top of the eye, come out, say about right here, not too much. Same thing over here, just about a little bit right there. And let's go ahead, we're gonna angle out. So just drawing my usual dumpling shape right here. So we're just gonna angle a little bit and then about right here, let's start to round it off. And we want our curve to come, let's find your center to say about right here, just not too far away. So just give yourself a point if you're drawing big so you can see where you're going. And I'm gonna start to round it off and bring it to that point. So definitely turn your body or your paper, whatever helps to create this big curve. And bring it back to the center. And same thing here, just connect everything. There. Okay, so then from there, let's uh, bring this up a tiny bit more past the eye, just a little, because we still need to draw the hat, and the hat is right over the eye. So then from there, I'm going to go ahead and draw this big curve right over the eyes. You don't want to touch the eyes, it just wants to be right over. And before I forget, I'm just going to come right here and draw a curve. Just to give our puppy here some definition for the eyes. Okay, then from there, let's see here. Let's continue this curve for our witch's hat. Just out a little bit. And then let's go ahead and bring it in. So we're drawing the rim and connect. Just a simple Halloween hat. And I'm gonna 
find my center. So I'm going to go up all the way to say about right here. I'll just give myself a point, round off the tip and bring it down. And same thing here. <laughs> there. Okay, so then now from there, let's go ahead and add some decorations to our hat. Let's come right into the center. And I'm just going to draw your typical generic witch's hat. So add a little buckle right here. Right in the center. Then let's add a ribbon going through it. Here and here. And then if you like, you can add some stripes as well on your hat. If you want to decorate it even more. There. You can add some color to your hat. Then from there, let's draw the ear so we know that this is a puppy for sure, right? Okay, so let's come over here. We're going to draw little floppy ears today. So about right here, I'm going to bring this down and about here, go ahead and round this off and bring it in. Something nice and simple. So it's a little bit narrower here and wider there. So same thing here. Just want to make sure it's about the same length on the other side. So say about right here. And once again, narrower about right there. And connect. There, now we know it's a puppy, right? Okay, so then from there, let's draw the body. I'm going to come about right here. And let's see, about right here. And let's go down. And down. So from there, let's see here. I know I need to draw a little pumpkin uh, basket. So let's bring this down a little bit more. Let's come back in here and draw the pumpkin, so the basket. So I'm going to come about right here and I'm going to draw a curve coming down. So imagine the handle in the puppy's mouth, so about right here. I'm just going to fit it into my space. I'm thickening up this handle. Just say about right here, and then I'm going to go ahead and connect it. Nothing complicated, just something simple. And let's just draw our basket right here. Little bucket. And so we can't make it too long because we just need to draw our puppy's body. So if you're if it's longer, I guess it would just be like covering the feet. <laughs> so about that size. And then now we can go ahead and finish our puppy. So our center is still right here. And we're just going to come. This is your center. So I'm going to come to the sides a little bit on both sides. Give myself a point. And from here, I'm going to imagine the legs. The front legs are going to be coming here. And I'm going to curve. There, so right in the center. Then we can just bring this down. See how long you want to make your puppy's body and connect. So same thing here. Round this off. And connect there. And you can come in here, draw two curves on both sides. And whatever space you have left, just come in here and just draw a little line. Then from the back, let's come about right here. I'm just going to draw a curve coming down and the back foot. So just draw a curve and connect. Now once again, two curves. Same thing over here. Same area. Yay, now we're done. And let's see here. Now we need to draw. Do we need a tail? Maybe if you want to put a tail, you can come right here. Just add in a little tail. 
<laughs> there. Okay, so then from there, let's decorate our pumpkin bucket. So I'm gonna come, let's make it nice and simple. So two triangles for the eyes, a little triangular nose, and let's see here. Big smile, one big tooth in the center, perhaps. It's all up to you. Really hope this inspires you. And shade it all in. There. My two little lines to give our pumpkin some definition. But then from there, let's fill the bucket with some candy. So I'm just gonna come here really quickly and just draw some simple candy. Maybe a bar right here. Uh, let's see, maybe like a big chocolate ball. Whatever you can think of. Just into this space. And I'll add a heart on my chocolate right here. <laughs> chocolate bar. But I'm just gonna fill up whatever space, just so when I color it, it looks like it's nice and full. And that is pretty much it for my drawing here of this puppy enjoying some trick-or-treating this Halloween. I really hope this brings a smile to your day and I helped you draw fun and easy. And if I did, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later. Bye.